So hello, everyone. Welcome to our session today on breaking invisible walls, how helping others may help your personal growth. Hi, hi from my side, and welcome to our session. Uh, this is not a regular session like you're probably used to uh, attended technical conferences. So it's uh, more about people. And uh, uh, as Pragati said, it's not just about us, so two of us and other members of uh, our team, but also people from the other side of those walls that we often tend to oversee. Uh, Pragati, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so before we go further ahead, so my name is Pragati Jain, those who don't know me, and I'm currently working as an analytics manager at Avenard here in UK, London. I'm also a Power BI trainer, I'm a data platform MVP, and then, yeah, few things about me, like I like working with like generating insights for customers out of the data, I do a lot of data storytelling things, then my expertise are mostly Power BI. I'm a community super user, you can call me, on Power BI community. Then I'm a speaker. And one of the things about me is like, I call myself a techie artist because I kind of do a lot of painting as well. So yeah, that's me. Nicola. Thanks, thanks, Pragati, yeah. Uh, I'm Nicola. Uh, I'm originally from Belgrade in Serbia, but for last almost seven years, I live in the beautiful city of Salzburg in Austria, where I work uh, as an independent data platform consultant and trainer, mainly focusing on Power BI, but also doing some other uh, stuff with, with Microsoft Data Platform products. Uh, you can conclude probably that I'm a huge football and Barca fan, and that didn't change, even though Messi le left. I still love Barca, so <laughs> that's, that's in short about me. And we all love Messi. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> And uh, one more thing before we proceed. So as I said, this is not a regular session, so don't expect us to talk about, uh, uh, to talk uh, for the next 60 minutes and then you clap. I mean, you can clap, of course, if you enjoy the session, but uh, we will try to make some kind of interaction also with all of you and hear your experience on the, on the topic that we are going to, to introduce. So I think, First of all, it's not just us. We have a big team with us. I mean, obviously, three of our team is not here today. Andrea, Augustin, and Mohammed. So last year, I'll just say, okay. Mm -hmm. So last year, we guys actually, it was Nicola's idea who actually came up with like something like a free Power BI boot camp for the people who just can't afford trainings in the, you know, community. So he kind of came up with the idea. And then, okay, we were talking about it. Then he talked with few of us. And then like five of us came together and took this initiative, like, let's do a free Power BI boot, boot camp for the people in the society who just can't afford paid trainings. So this is basically our team. They are not here, but we are representing the whole team here. So Nicola, I think before we go any further, the first thing I would like to ask, because I really want the audience to know why you really came up with this idea. So what was your main motivation, like, you know, running a free Power BI Bootcamp? Because we live in a community where we can see so many free trainings, like it could be Azure, SQL, Power BI. We already see these kind of free trainings offered by different community leaders or superstars in the community. But why would you say the Bootcamp that we did was different from others? That is the second question. But the first question was, what was your main idea? Let's go one by one. Yeah. So, <laughs> I will so what, forget. <laughs> so what was your main idea, you know, like coming up with this, something like this? Why we should, why we really need it, yeah. first of all? Yeah, that's a that's great question. So uh, before I answer how it all started, uh, if you, have you ever been in Salzburg, in Austria? Any from you? So you guys probably know this place, uh, or you recognize it from postcards. So this is not from Postcard, this is a place called Schloss Leopoldskron. And that's a place, so I live around uh, 500 meters from this place. Uh, now you're probably wondering why is this important? What does it have uh, uh, in common with Power BI Bootcamp? So basically every evening when my kids go to bed, I'm taking a short uh, stroll around this lake, this beautiful lake. And uh, if you're not sure, and this place looks familiar. Maybe you saw the movie Sound of Music. Uh, that's a very famous movie, very old movie, older than I am, even, so 50 years or more. Uh, so it was, uh, most of the scenes were done in this, uh, in this beautiful 
uh, castle near my home. And uh, when I was walking one, uh, one evening there, I was thinking uh, maybe an hour or two before that, uh, I was watching another amazing Power BI webinar, which was free. And I was thinking like, maybe I can do something, you know, for people uh, who can't afford to pay for training. So first of all, my idea was to include people who can't afford to pay for training. And uh, while I was thinking who else can benefit from this, uh, I came to a conclusion that uh, we don't have enough women in, uh, in, in our industry. And looking at the audience here, I have, uh, of course, uh, not counting Pragati, I see two ladies. So thanks for joining us and thanks for being in tech conference. So the other group of people that I was considering was uh, women. So the original idea, just to give you a little bit of a background and how we ended up having a team of five uh, people leading the bootcamp was uh, to include women and people who can't afford pay training. First of all, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against pay, pay training. Uh, I pay myself for a lot of amazing resources out there. But in the end, let's be honest, there are people who maybe want to pay, but they can't. So if there is a person earning, I don't know, $300 per month, uh, they simply can't afford to pay 200 for course training or co coming to a conference like this to, to learn. And in my opinion, having no money should not be uh, a blocker for anyone who, who wants to learn. So what I did, basically, I uh, came up in the end with the idea to uh, do a boot camp for 15 persons, because I thought it doesn't make sense you know, to do kind of webinar thing with 100 people joining. They hear your story for one hour, they leave, and that's it. So I wanted uh, a long-term kind of, uh, let's call it relationship, where I can dedicate my time to them, to help them to build something so after we are done with bootcamp, they have really, really real Power BI dashboard. So they can use this dashboard if they apply for their new job, if they want promotion or whatever. Uh, so the initial idea was to have uh, at least 10 women out of those 15 participants and remaining five spots for uh, people who can't afford pay training. Women, men, it doesn't matter. And I put that, uh, I wrote a blog post, I put that on LinkedIn, and what happened is that I got 82 applications. So the only thing I asked uh, in application process is, of course, you don't need to prove that you don't have money. So just a few sentences about yourself, who you are and why do you think Power BI Bootcamp may help you in your, in your professional career. And yeah, as I said, I received 82 applications and uh, really heartbreaking stories. We will share some of them uh, during the session. But the, the, for me, the hardest part was how to decide whom to Except, reject. Yeah, yeah, and reject, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And how to tell them, yeah, maybe there, there's for them, for them uh, the only chance to learn something for free. Uh, and how to tell those people, sorry, you're not accepted. And then one day, Augustine, one of uh, the members of our team, he visited me at Salzburg. We were having a lunch and talking. He asked me about boot camp, and I mentioned, I don't know what to do. I have 82 applications and only 15 spots. And he told me, like, if you want, I can join you and take a group of 15 people. Then I also asked Pragati, Mohammed, and Andrea. So we were all of a sudden team of five so we could handle 75 people. So in the end, basically, no one was rejected. Uh, and yeah, we had, we had five groups of, uh, of learners. Pragati, maybe you can. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, first of all, thanks, Nicola, for sharing that, because that was the great idea behind it, like why we really wanted to do that Power BI training, because free Power BI boot camp, because not everyone gets a chance to get into these kind of free Power BI trainings. And as Nicola said, he kind of literally prioritized a few things there. Like he really had some spots only for women because in the industry, like he mentioned, in the room, we just have two women. I mean, so we, we see that kind of difference here, right? So first of all, I would just like to thank him, first of all, to, you know, 
involve me in this kind of initiative because I've been always interested in, you know, doing all the community activities where I can just go and share my information or, you know, knowledge with other peoples regarding Power BI to different levels. And the other thing, my experience has been amazing. I mean, the, the boot camp uh, group that I led actually had all the women except one. So it was kind of very different for me to you know, know the stories of some of them on a personal background, like why they aren't really here. I mean, we can share a few stories later, but like one of the lady who was in my group was, she, she kind of literally told me on the first day uh, while I was having introduction with my bootcamp group, and, and she was like, I just had to leave my job because I had to take care of my parents and there was no one else to take care of my parents. So, I mean, that, that was something which kind of, you know, touched my heart in a way, because there were other stories of the women, like she had a baby, so she had to leave her job because she was a single mom, and she had to take care of the baby, so she was literally living on her savings. And she was like, I can't live on the savings for some more months, I need to get back to the job. And I really want to learn a tool which is like quite popular in the industry, like Power BI, which can really help me in entering the industry again. So that was like kind of another story. Then Another lady, she was like, her parents actually decided her career, so she was not allowed to do what she really wanted to do. So those kind of stories were like, you know, quite touching to me, like, oh gosh, there are really those invisible, invisible walls out there because I just can't see things beyond that, like what people are going through in there. So my first day with my boot campus was like, oh gosh, I really need to train them pretty well in coming 11 weeks because it's a huge responsibility on me. If I, because it might just change their life. They might just come out of the issues they're currently facing in their life at personal level. So my experience was amazing with them. And then teaching the Power BI from a beginner level was a challenge for me because I've been using Power BI for a few years now and yeah, pretty experienced with it. So when someone asked me like, okay, how to download Power BI desktop? Come on, I'm experienced. I never think from that point of view because I know, go to Microsoft website, download Power BI desktop and then get it rolling, right? But these people didn't know that. So my you know, perspective of teaching Power BI completely changed with these boot campers. I had to think from a different level, like, come on, they don't know anything. Some people didn't have access to internet, so they just don't know how to browse to the website, so you need to tell them. Sometimes I send them files, okay, this is Power BI, just a file in the drive, or sometimes just email them if, it, if they can just get access to email like for a few minutes and download it and then get rolling with Power BI. So there were those kind of people in the team, but all those 11 weeks, we just tried our best, not just me or the whole of a team, because in the end, the kind of amazing results these boot campers produce for us, like a, a working dashboard, a report with amazing themes, I would not think of doing that. And it was like so good. I mean, it was a proud moment. The last day of the boot camp was they were literally presenting the reports they were taking home with them. So yeah, I think it was an overall amazing experience. Nicola, what about you? Yeah, same, same for me. And I, I would say uh, also, uh, Andrea, Augustine, and Mohammed will share the, the same feeling. So uh, you think in the, at the beginning, uh, what is my responsibility? So yeah. you have like 15 people uh, expecting from you to give them kind of uh, entry ticket into, into an industry where they can easier find a job, uh, get a better uh, salary and better life conditions. So it's a huge responsibility. And what Pragati said for us, uh, who are working with Power BI uh, for a longer time, we, think, we take some things for granted. Yeah. You know, like you don't uh, think about beginner stuff anymore. And when you get questions like this, you reconsider your approach of uh, sharing knowledge uh, and, and, and it was like quite a lot of learning for ourselves as well, like going through those Microsoft documentation, reading few of the beginner level things so that, you know, we can prepare our course for every week. So that's why we say, I mean, it was not, not just about, you know, uh, giving something to others, it was more about gaining as well, because we had to completely did a different study to teach these people Power BI from a different perspective. And yeah, that, that's why it was a tough journey for us, right, yes, Nicola? Yes, we, yes we, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It, it was not an easy thing for us, because going and reading everything from scratch, I mean, come on, you have been working with Power BI for six years now. <laughs> you, you won't go and see everything from the basic point of view. Like, like the questions the boot campus had was like, 
amazing. They, they used to tell me some new ways which I've never explored in Power BI. They were like, oh, in Power Query Editor, you can actually pivot it this way as well. I was like, okay, I never saw that way. And they were like, I mean, they actually made me think and go back and relearn Power BI in some way. So that was, yeah, I think, yeah. the most amazing moment. And this energy after you finish, you know, the, 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 the class with them, this energy that, that you uh, 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 get from them, it's something that yeah. uh, uh, keeps inspiration, keeps motivation to continue uh, sharing and uh, yeah, teaching those people, the, these people how to, how to succeed. And going back to stories, uh, we included some photos to illustrate some of the moments we were receiving. This is like, for example, as Pragati mentioned, single mom. Uh, we also have a lady who moved from South America to clean houses in Europe, and she wants, of course, a better job. We also have a lady from Nigeria uh, whose uh, house was uh, destroyed in flood. So some really, really heartbreaking stories. And uh, yeah, maybe we had, uh, we had ladies coming from Suriname, uh, Malaysia, yeah. I don't know. Of course, Europe, uh, uh, USA, so from all, all parts of our planet. And, uh, some of these stories, especially coming from Asia, like China and India, were uh, similar in the, in, the, in the way that uh, those ladies, their destiny were decided by others. So they have to uh, find their way maybe later in their life. And uh, yes, uh, I, we have a, a table talk on the same topic recently. Yeah, recently, And yeah. Pragati, if you want to share from your perspective, I think you can better resonate as a, as a woman with, yeah. with those stories. Yeah, yeah, definitely, because when I read a few of those stories, I think I could relate to a few of them because I have been through such stage in my life as well. Because like being a woman, it's sometimes hard in the industry. I mean, you just don't get opportunities like every time you want them, right? So you have to sometimes fight for it. And especially coming from a small part from India where, you know, sometimes women are not given those opportunities, you have to like to literally fight. Like, no, I really need to do that. Or, or, or otherwise you just give up and, and just don't do anything. Because I come from that background where, you know, parents decide your career. If they want you to do engineering, you do engineering. If, you want, if they want you to be a doctor, you, do a, you, you become a doctor. It's like that, right? So it was hard for me also getting out of that environment. But yeah, I'm pretty proud that I got out of it, did what I really wanted to do. But the conditions are not like we see here. So when I talked about in the table talk last week, I mean, I was more like, I think we guys really come from a very privileged society where you can actually do what you want to do. I mean, I, I myself consider myself privileged because I was able to get out some, somehow from that environment and, what, and do what I really wanted to do, right? So I really con considered myself privileged. But when these women, we had those stories, they were not able to come out of that environment, right? They had to struggle a lot, but still they were stuck there. So helping them was something I really wanted to do because I could totally relate to what they're going through, what struggles they have in their life, how can family be, you know, sometimes not supportive in certain scenarios. So yeah, I understand that juggle and hustle with yourself when you can't do what you want to do. So, so I think that's what my experience was, Nicola, and, and I think that's why I, said, I told to you as well why I relate to these stories. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely makes sense. And I would say all of us in this room, including you, we are privileged. You are at mm. paid conference right mm. now. Yeah. So you can learn from best speakers around the world. Uh, and uh, talking about these invisible walls, why we included that in the title. So we often tend to forget what's happening behind those walls. So it's not a physical wall, obviously. We hear, we hear stories from other parts of the world, but it's hard to imagine before you really hear those stories and you really meet this, uh, this, this person. So they exist, they're for real. And uh, yeah, that, that personally changed my perspective of looking at, at the things. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, uh, I pick this conference, I pick this conference, I pick this course, I can pay for it, or my company will pay for it, not a problem. But there are people around there eager to learn, but they can't. Yeah. So that was, that was, I think, the, the main motivation and the, the main benefit of uh, having uh, uh, a boot camp like this. Uh, yeah, we would like to uh, include few of the feedbacks. We received a lot of feedbacks, but few of them. So this is a lady, Flora, from China. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so I think feedbacks like these in the end of the bootcamp was something we just thought like, oh, this, this is the proud moment for us because if we were able to, you know, help them in some way gaining a power, any knowledge related to Power BI, I think our job was done, right? Yes, Nicola? exactly. So, so feedback exactly. like this was something, oh gosh, we, we lit, I think we did the right thing. We have changed lives to a certain extent. People have gained something from this free Power BI bootcamp. And I think we'll, we'll continue doing that. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. yeah. This lady, for example, from Nigeria, she lost her house in the fir first two or three uh, weeks. Uh, she was following classes on her mobile phone. Yeah. She, she was in my yeah, class, yeah, yeah, I remember her. Yeah, and, and it was too hard for her in the starting weeks of boot camp. She was literally on her phone. There was no internet connection and other things. So I had to literally send her files differently to her. So when she has access to internet, she can download everything, watch all the videos that I've been teaching. But, but yeah, in the end, she really performed well. She had like a Power BI report up for me to showcase, and I was like, oh gosh, how can you do that? You didn't have access to anything. So yeah, amazing people. They had so much you know, energy and enthusiasm to learn this tool, and they showcased that in the end of the bootcamp to us. Yeah. And this is something we got from a table talk last year from Power BI Summit. So while we were sharing our experiences with the people at Power BI Summit, one of the, I don't remember her name, but she kind of came up like, she's also running the similar kind of initiative in another country. Right? Not yet, so she was attending the, the she, table she, talk. Yeah. And while we were talking and mm. explaining our motivation and uh, uh, our experience, she wrote in, in the chat literally this, so I copy yeah. pasted. Uh, her message from chat, yeah. so that, and that's, I would say that's the biggest message and biggest win that we got from this uh, bootcamp, yeah. to spread this word and to uh, motivate others to also do similar things. So it yeah. doesn't have to be Power BI, it doesn't have to be 11 weeks long, but uh, yeah, helping others, especially finding those groups of people that are maybe, I, I can't say everywhere and every time, but they're maybe underrepresented to some extent. Uh, yeah, this, this is something that, that we want to see and hear uh, as much as possible. Yeah, and, and I think just to add to that, I mean, while we both are speaking here, it's not about we are promoting ourselves here. We are basically promoting a community initiative here. I mean, five of us did it. Why can't others do it? Because in this conference, we have experts around every other technology here, not just Power BI. So it was more like, if we can do it, why not others can do it? And, and you never know if you start with these small initiatives, there could be something big in future. I remember in a table talk, Nicola, if I'm correct, just correct me if I'm not, uh, someone just asked a question like, does Microsoft do these kind of free trainings? Not just Power BI, it could be anything like Azure or something. And then we, I think all five of us were like silent or quiet for a few seconds and we were like, I don't Probably think that, not. Yeah, we were like, I don't think there is something like that. And then I was like to the audience, maybe these small initiatives, if we, if we can do in small parts of the world, that might lead to a big initiative by Microsoft in coming years. So I think that's what the message we were really after, you know, to share it with everyone here. Like, let's start with small beginnings and maybe it will end up to something, a bigger cause in the future and it might just help people on larger scale because just imagine if a company like Microsoft starts these free Power BI trainings or Azure trainings or any other free trainings for the users, it might just help people a lot around the world, especially the people who just can't afford the trainings, I mean, who are like beyond us in some another zone which we are not aware of. So I think that's what really want, we want to send a message yeah, to absolutely. everyone here. Absolutely, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing we are trying. And since uh, our friends and colleagues are not here to, uh, to present with us, uh, we included... Uh -huh. uh, oops, just oh, a second. Yeah. yeah, so we just, we just got some messages from them because we wanted to make sure we are representing here as a team, not just two of us. So they just got like small messages on based on you know, what kind of experiences they had with the bootcamp running leading each of the bootcamp group. Yeah, so, yeah. is it yeah. possible to share the sound? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to mention in the beginning. Oh, is it not? Okay. Oh, oh that's uh -huh, it's here. here. 
Thank you so much. How can we? I think he's going to set up something. Mm -hmm. Okay, side. play again. Play mm -hmm. again. It's a Power BI bootcamp which was organized by Nicola. Thanks to him. It was a great experience and a different experience for me where we get an opportunity to teach people from different parts of the world the different time zone at the same time. And that's the beauty of the community that we connect together for a single purpose. In my perspective, I learned a lot from this bootcamp that connecting people and understanding the Power BI from the fresh or new user perspective. Because we are using Power BI since the beginning, but the attendees, they are from a different background, entirely different background. They don't have any knowledge about Power BI or some of them, they have just started with Power BI. So we need to teach them so that they can easily understand from the basic what is Power BI. In general, we learned a lot from community that if we have any queries, then we just post on the community and we get the answer from the community. And this is a place where we have an option that we can share our experience to the community again. So it's a kind of cycle that we get something from the community and we need to give it back to the community. So I would like everyone to be a part of this community, whether it's a direct or indirect, through offline or through online. And we need to share our experience to the community, those who really need of it. I'd like to thank Nicola and Pragati to showcase ourselves in SQL Bits. Enjoy the rest of the SQL Bits. So, yeah, I mean, that, that was a great message from Mohammed. So we just asked him to share some of his, his experiences. And I think he, he said, like, really a good thing there. Yeah. It's our task to give back to the community. Now, just to elaborate on that, I mean, when I entered into Power BI or started doing these community efforts, I think it was the community that helped me in making that space. And when I was trying to learn Power BI or some other tools, then there were people out there who I can literally reach out and they used to send me the solutions if I'm stuck somewhere, right? So, so, how, so I'm just trying to say how community was there when, when I wanted to reach them and they helped me. So... I think one of the biggest thing what we wanted to do through this bootcamp was giving back to the community because we have earned a lot from the community. So we didn't just want to miss yeah, any still, chance. Still learning a lot. From still learning a yeah. lot from the community. So we just didn't want to miss any chance to give back to the community in any way. And that's, I think, something Muhammad has highlighted here. Absolutely. And that's, that's the cycle that he's mentioned, uh, that he mentioned. So... Uh, we expect and we told to our boot campers that we expect uh, and we would be very happy if in years or two or six months uh, if someone of them organize something similar yeah. and share the knowledge. So we get this like a snowball effect, you know, and then, uh, yeah, there, there, there are no limits for, for sharing the knowledge. Uh, yeah, we also have... Uh, we have a message from Andrea, Andrea. as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Another... Are you I think there it's Hello, hi everyone. I'm Andrea Nicievich and I was one of the instructors in the bootcamp that Nicola or Sorry, just trying to put Andrea. Yeah, somehow the projection oh, is not working. Yeah. Maybe with these videos it's tricky. Never mind, let's play her. Hello, hi everyone. I'm Andrea Nicievich and I was one of the instructors in the bootcamp that Nicola organized. Thanks a lot for really involving me in this. It was great to share this adventure with. Uh... Now, <laughs> maybe one thing works I'm at not a time. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah we, we can continue with well, them. It's fine. Play, yeah. yeah. Uh, I really was inspired by their motivation and their curiosity, which really enabled me to create uh, a small community within the class itself. Um, and then I saw how the small community that was created within the class uh, then joined the, the wider community that we are um, all part of. Uh, we're co contributing to each other's successes and helping uh, uh, each other on uh, Power BI uh, topics and let's say some of them are really uh, difficult ones. Um, we uh, had the framework 
uh, or that follow the uh, main path uh, with some specific topics uh, that we uh, wanted to tackle. Uh, but still, the framework was flexible enough uh, uh, to enable each of us to customize it uh, um, according to Good Camper's curiosity, questions, uh, and each of us may create it like a unique experience for, for them. And it was very, very valuable to have an approach uh, um, where we had uh, one person that was having a live interaction uh, with uh, uh, with each of them and uh, yeah I would say then again kudos to everyone in uh, in my team uh, I wish you to enjoy SQL Beats the most uh, learn uh, as much as you can uh, and uh, I hope to see you uh, as an instructor uh, in the next bootcamp bye everyone yeah, I would like to expand on what Andrea said. So uh, after the bootcamp ended in December, it, it was just an official end of the bootcamp, but we still are in touch with everyone. So we have our, our own Slack channel. Uh, so we are still like uh, having interaction with them if they need some help, some advice, uh, stuff like that. And I think one lady already got a job. She posted. Yeah, she actually got a job after the boot camp. So she kind of, so that was like a big proud moment for us. Like, okay, we trained few people. One of them got the job. And hopefully everyone will be, you know, towards the same goal in coming months or so. So yeah, I think the key there is like, we are, we are still in touch with them. If they need any help, we are there to mentor them, help them with the issues or, you know, something they are facing with Power BI. So, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's what that's, comes that's, in here. You're yeah. one of the biggest wins. Yeah. And we have also Augustine. Yeah, some of our slides don't change. Yeah, there. slides don't go, but yeah, let's. Let's play. Hi, those. everyone. Hope you are enjoying your session at SQL Bits with uh, Nicola and Pragati. And... They will share with you what we gained and what we give during our boot camp. All of us, the others, uh, Mohammed, Andrea, myself, are sorry not to be there together with you to share our thoughts. But what we can tell is encourage each and every one of you to try to do the same thing. So try with start sharing your knowledge out there through community platforms, try to help people who would like to enjoy, uh, join a Power BI community and start their career, because what it gave us, probably Pragati and Nicola will tell you more, but it gave us experience which, will, which we will remember probably forever, and primary reason why we will continue with boot, boot camps going forward. Enjoy session with Nicola and Pragati, and See you. Bye. Yeah, I think I think Nicola has re, um, Augustine has really highlighted that like we will continue to do that irrespective of we see these similar initiatives in the community or not because it was kind of a big win for us from a you know trainer point of view. We ran the boot camp. People gained from it. One of them got the job. One of, one of them was able to uh, get promoted as well. Yes, yes, yes. In yes, the Power BI industry. So, already... so, yeah, I mean, people are getting good results. So I think it, it, it makes us feel we are changing lives of people in some way. So, yeah, we'll be doing this and continue doing this. I think that's what August, Augustine wanted to yeah. highlight that, right? Well, Why our just... slides are not changing. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, maybe I can just restart it. Sorry about that. Can we exit the... I'm trying. Yeah. 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 It's not working. Never mind. So basically what also Augustine mentioned about spreading the knowledge further and uh, having this community uh, 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 behind our backs to support. So I also need to mention that we uh, included other members of our community during the boot camp for the specific topics. And uh, yeah, for example, Parvinder was uh, included with uh, Pragati to teach participants about DEX. I also invited uh, Tom, Tom, Tom Martins, Martins and yeah. Mara, Mara Pereira. Uh, was, uh, she delivered a wonderful session on data visualization. So uh, the, 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 the participants were very happy to learn, not just from us, but also from other community stars. And I need to thank them as yeah. well. Uh, because they were like immediately, yes, of course, I would like to, I would like and to yeah, join. And yeah, it's kind of great thing. Like, I mean, I mean, like with Pervinda, what happened with me was I, I had my session 
the next day, I messaged him the previous day, can you deliver a DAX beginner session for my boot campus? And I'm running this free Power BI boot camp. And he like, I think within seconds he came back, yes, I will do a DAX beginner session for your boot campus. So just want to highlight what community is. You have people to help you out, support you in every cause you are doing within the community as a community member. So it was just not us, I think. We, yes, we got a lot absolutely. of help from the community. People kind of supported us. Whenever we reached out to them, like come and speak as a guest speaker, they were like pretty ready, pretty excited. So I think it, it was so overwhelming for us, yes, right? getting that yes, level of support yeah. because we never expected we'll reach out to someone to do a training uh, session for us and they'll just agree like within seconds, like, yeah, we'll do something for you. So yeah, I think, I think that's the kind of message we are really here to share with you guys. I mean. We started something, we'll be doing that soon, and thank you. We'll be doing that again, and we also expect like, we as a community should take these kind of initiatives and you know, just try to spread it, not here, around the world. Yeah, yeah. sorry Rishi, are you? Um, so how did you actually reach those people? How do they know about this? Because presumably the people who follow you on LinkedIn and Twitter are not these people. Not, not necessarily, great question, thank you Rishi. So uh, some of them are following, but yeah. some of them are friends of our connections on, uh, on social media. Yeah. So I was getting messages uh, from USA. Uh, I have a friend who may be good fit for the bootcamp. Can I forward the details? Of course you can. So it was like, uh, yeah, please, uh, so, sorry, just to repeat the question from Rishi. Uh, how, we, how did we reach to those people who were in the end part of the bootcamp? because basically uh, they are not part of uh, tech community, data community. Uh, so uh, uh, the post was on LinkedIn or Twitter on our social media accounts. And then uh, our connections have, every one of us knows someone or uh, have someone mm. in, in the, in the uh, I don't know, family, friends and stuff like that, uh, that we are aware that maybe need uh, this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, 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 learning. Uh, opportunity. So it was like direct connection. Can I recommend uh, this and this person? Yes, of course. And that's that's how we reach basically to. I would say more than half of participants were like recommendations. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a great question. Yeah, thanks, thanks. And going uh, forward uh, uh, on this story about learning journey. So bootcamp ended. First edition ended in December. We have this, as I mentioned, we have this Slack channel where we still communicate with them. And what we also did, and I need, I need to mention support from guys from Enterprise DNA. Uh, so when they he heard about uh, uh, the initiative, they offered uh, one year free subscription to their learning platform to all the participants. So yeah. we give, gave them like a first uh, Step, baby steps. Yeah, yeah. Now you go there and you know, learn better DAX, learn Power Query, yeah. learn better data visualization. You have one year for free, free to continue, yeah. continue your, your learning path. Yeah. Go on, Rishi. Okay, just another question on that. Um, how did you stop them from just becoming overwhelmed with this? Because it's all good and well to say, okay, here's how you download Power BI desktop and you do another session. And then you get them into the world of Power BI and say, hey, go and learn DAX, go to SQL BI. And, and you know, it's just a big world. And the deeper you go, the more you realize how much you need to learn and how overwhelming it is. Yeah, yeah. I imagine for someone starting on that journey, that's, that's a wall. Yes, that's a wall. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. So, so the question that Rishi just asked was like, how did you manage the beginners in Power BI in a way like they might just get overwhelmed with different concepts of Power BI, like say DAX or modeling or Power Query if they're using it for the first time. So how was those things really managed? I think. I'm sure you can add to it a lot, but I would say just one thing from my side. I think for me, it was more like looking at Power BI from a very, very much beginner, beginner perspective. We never took them into like advanced data modeling or advanced DAX things. We always had things like at a very basic level. So, you know, just giving them idea what is possible with this tool called Power BI. Because I know most of the people who don't, who don't work with Power BI, they just think it's like a nice tool where you can create like pretty nice visualizations, create dashboards and reports, and that's it. But we just kind of showed them different 
areas within Power BI, like what all is really possible with the tool, and obviously at a basic level, just not making them, you know, too much overwhelmed by modeling concepts or, you know, going into like, say, hybrid tables, composite mo models, those kind of things, or, you know, the toughest DAX expressions and other things. So we kept it like at a very basic level, so they can just get started with this tool. They know at least what Power BI can do. We showed them every other area of Power BI, how it works in cloud, how you can share the reports and everything, but took it at a very basic level. Never went into drill, but now, as they've got like enterprise DNA thing for a, for a year for free, they can now continue their journey, and obviously we are all, always with them. We are still connected with them, so if they want to learn something new, they can obviously come back to us and you know, yeah. continue their journey with Power BI. Yeah. I would say the main motivation was that by the end of bootcamp that they have their own dashboard. Yeah. So it's nice that we tell them this is how you do this, this is how you do yeah. that. But once they get their hands on Power BI and they build their own dashboard and yeah. after the bootcamp, oh look, this is what uh, I built in Power BI. Yeah. So using Power BI. As Pragati said, so we use basically this Microsoft's uh, adjusted Microsoft materials yeah. for PL300. So nothing special in terms of going too much deep, but covering covering everything, uh, let's say giving them an idea about different aspects of Power BI. And then in the end, we provided the list of uh, of resources, resources that they can yeah. refer to. Of course, SQL BI and, uh, and other stuff once they reach certain level of, yeah. of skills in Power BI. So yeah. they don't get overwhelmed. Yeah, I think, I think for the SQL by, uh, BI, I literally told them, no, you don't have to look at it at this stage. <laughs> Definitely don't go there. You'll be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, SQL BI for me was, no, 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 don't go there yet. Don't, don't yet, go no there yet. yet. Not, yet. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. So yeah. because we still, I sometimes fear going to SQL BI and looking for some DAX, right? I don't understand most of the stuff there because maybe I'm not an expert in DAX, but yeah, it's, it's like that. But yeah, I think the most fulfilled thing was for us in the end, actually all of our boot campers in our last day of boot camp literally presented a data story with the data we provided with, with them and nice report in the end. And, and some of the themes, I mean, sorry, we can't share it today, I, actually, we should have included some of the oh, dashboards and report Sorry. screenshots. <laughs> yeah. So My bad. Some, of, some of the boot campers literally got like amazing report themes. I mean, I would have not thought of creating them. And I was like, what? These are beginners or these are experienced people? So I think that was the most fulfilling thing for us in the end of the boot camp. Like they've managed to get a report out in 11 weeks. Our job is done. They are able to tell a data story out of the data. Job is done. They managed to get a job. They got promoted. Job is done, right? So, yeah, it, it just feels like so for Yeah, the rewarding, right? rewarding for, it's, for everyone. It's so good yeah. for us, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think we are out of time. Yeah, we are almost, almost done. But, yeah, I think that's what our message says. Our journey just started. We'll be continuing to do that. And hopefully people in the community get inspired by this initiative and do these things in you know, coming days or weeks. Because it will, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Go on. And that's what this message said. Please leave your feedback yeah. uh, for the session. We yeah, would please. really appreciate we, yeah. we are doing it for the first time, so. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, because the feedback just help us or maybe just motivate us to do another bootcamp yeah. soon. <laughs> so yeah, please, please do give us feedback. And of course, any questions, yeah. comments? Yeah, sure. Go on. Um, uh, Arunas, yeah, go on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so the question that Aruna has just asked was like people like coming from different backgrounds, like how did you manage their timings? Did you like had like weekly sessions with them or you were on calls with them? How did you keep up their learning? So I think just one part I would like to answer here. We, we literally had applications from around the world and all five of the boot campus chose a time zone like in which time zone we can really work because all of us have a full-time job and we had to take care of this from our busy schedule. So we kind of chose the boot campers that were coming from the time zone. Like for example, I chose the Europeans and UK time zone. Nicola was able to do- I was working with Chinese, Chinese uh, people. Yeah, because he could do the boot camp in that time. And I was <laughs> like after side. work, so I chose UK and Europe. So it was like that. We chose our boot campers and we 
did like every week we did a two hour session for them and gave them another week to complete an exercise that we used to give them every week after the session. So that's how their learning continued. James. Sorry, you wanted to add something. <laughs> That's what Nicola is. <laughs> I'm better in Googling than you. <laughs> <laughs> so the question was like, James just wanted to mention like he was stuck with a power query problem for two hours or three hours. And then Nic he just sent that thing to Nicola and he was able to solve that in half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's why we're here. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's what the community is, right? You just literally message people. I mean, I have, I have literally messaged people like Alberto on LinkedIn, <laughs> coming back with an answer for me on DAX, and and yeah, it's it's pretty overwhelming to see like these people are coming back to us. So yeah, that's that's what our message was. Oh yeah, go on. You like to answer? No, 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 yeah. you go ahead. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we didn't receive anything for that. It was like uh, doing in our spare time. So, yeah, instead of having lunch at 1 p.m., I had lunch at 2 or 3 p.m. Yeah. So basically, yeah, uh, it was a little bit tricky to, to accommodate to all the time zones. Uh, for example, in my group, I had a lady from Suriname and uh, ladies from China. In Suriname, it was 8 a.m. In China, it was 8 p.m. So, but... Yeah, in the end, it's, it's uh, when you see their passion and their motivation to learn, you will, you will easily find time to, to accommodate everything. So, yeah. yeah and I think, that, an I think that community contribution motivation came our way every time. I mean, like, I, I, I used to work till six and then have a call with them from seven to nine. So, yeah, I think somewhere there was a motivation and passion for doing it because we always had it in our heart, like, we might end up changing someone else's life. So, yeah, it just kept us going for 11 weeks, I guess. Yes, it, it was a yeah, big commitment yeah, and yeah. we did it, yeah. So yeah, I think we are on time now. So thank you everyone for thank coming you, to our session. Thank you so much. Thank you.